Hi, everyone. I'm Keith Vitale, and welcome to Psychic Podcast. In this episode, I'm so excited. I know people say that, but I really am. I have one of my great friends on it. She is, without a doubt, the number one martial arts female star in all the United States and all of America. She's appeared in over 60 films. And the unique thing about her is that she's loved all over the world. Please say hi to my great friend, Cynthia Rothrock. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Keith. How are you? I'm fine. You are probably the most busy person in the world right now. You you have so much going on. I'm fascinated by you and your life and your background. But right now, what I want to do is really focus first on your movie project, the Black Creek Project. project. Uh, I, I'm so excited about all of this. Can you tell the audience about that movie? Yeah, you know, uh, I've done over 70 films and uh, I always wanted to do my own movie because, you know, when we're doing films, we never really have the control on too much. Just go in, do the part as best you can. And then uh, one day, you know, I was like, ah, yeah, I need to, to do my own film. And with my partner, we started off like, well, what kind of film do you want to do? I want to do a Western. A Western? Oh, okay. Uh, what's the plot? And it went into there. Then we kind of created the story, uh, hired a writer, and uh, just for months, just went back and forth with that until everything w was exactly how I envisioned a movie that I would want to do. And it's called Black Creek. And it's a uh, very dark, gritty Western and uh, stars a female gunslinger, me, and uh, it's very action packed. So what I wanted to do is create something different that people haven't seen on screen. And uh, I think I think I've done it is uh, going to have like just a little bit of gunplay, but mostly uh, some phenomenal uh, action. And uh, I'm bringing a choreographer from Switzerland that I've worked with that I really, really liked. And uh, from every little detail, from costuming to casting to lighting, is, is the vision that I've always wanted to do. So I'm very, very excited to uh, have this new venture going on in my life. Let me ask you about this. So did you have any input in the writing as well with your, with your partner? Absolutely. Yeah, it was pretty much uh, even one third, one third, one third, uh, you know, contribution to it. Uh, I think uh, what I did is I created the scenes a little more dark, a little more gritty, because I wanted this movie uh, to be a movie that I would like to watch, what I like to see in films, you know. So that's kind of, I know, like at some point they were going, oh, oh, oh you know, <laughs> that's a little... Uh, dark that scene and I was like no it's got to be it's got to be because um that's kind of like when I watch movies especially like in the opening scene or if I'm watching a tv series if if it pulls me in like with the shocker I'm like oh my god oh my god you know I have to watch that uh so that's kind of uh, how I I pretty much changed the beginning and then um like some of the other scenes that originally was uh, stated. So, uh, yeah. So when you see this film, you'll see the, the vision in the Cynthia Rothrock crazy mind. Well, I love that. I, I, I love a couple of aspects. First, I love Westerns. We all grew up with Westerns. You know, big follower of Clint Eastwood and the good and the bad, the ugly, and so many more films like that. So I just can't believe that you decided to make it a Western. I just can't wait to see your cast all on horses. That's the thing. I just can't wait to see. And then two is, you know, we, we both have a good friend, uh, Keith Strandberg. And Keith started off, off as a writer, but he got a little frustrated because what he wrote sometimes wouldn't transfer to the film or, and eventually to the screen. So he became a producer as well because he wanted to be on set to make sure whatever he wrote ended up on the screen. You're actually doing that too. You're taking total control of your life. You know, you're not leaving it in the hands of a director or producer or executive. You just say, no, this is my vision and this is what, what I want to see on the screen. So, man, I really commend you for that. Do, where are you going to, uh, where are you plan on shooting it? What location? Yeah, uh, Old Tucson uh, in Arizona. And there is a Western town there. A lot of uh, Westerns were shot there. So we technically can basically shoot the whole film there. <laughs> they have a lot of exteriors, interiors. It's a whole town. There's a corral there. So perfect place for the setting of my movie. And when we were writing this, we had this in mind, you know, so we wrote it to that. And uh, when you were speaking about, you know, control, uh, I hired uh, 
uh, Shannon Lanier, he's the director. And uh, the reason why is because we talked about this film and he has the same visions that I see uh, directly from, you know, we're talking about, okay, when this scene happens, this is the mood, this is the lighting, this is the shot. So uh, I, I think, you know, his vision and my vision together is going to make That's this good. a really, really uh, good movie. <laughs> or a great movie. Well, not only that, you know, I, I've gone with, you know, I've been fortunate enough to work a couple seasonal, a few seasonal film movies. And I had NG, the producer, along with Keith Strandberg, and I'd go along with him. We went to the Milan Film Festival. We went to the Cannes Film Festival. We've been to L.A. Film Festivals. And I have a lot of experience working with, you know, movie producers and directors and distribution companies. And they always had the same question. They didn't care about the script. They didn't care about anything. Who's your star? Who's your star? Is he bankable? Are you going to get a domestic distribution? All I know is this. You are loaded, front loaded, heavily loaded with the, some of the best martial arts film stars in our history. So congratulations. Can you talk about some of the people you've got attached to the film for cast? Yeah. Um, you know, when I was first writing it, uh, I had this character for Don Wilson in mind. So I wrote it specifically uh, for him. And then, uh, you know, we're looking at the cast of characters going, OK, who would do this? And, you know, the main thing that I want this movie, I want the fights to be so good. I want everybody uh, fight scene to be phenomenal. So I wanted people that can really, really fight. And uh, it, it, it started off now. We have Billy Blanks. We have uh, Olivier Gruner. Um, let's see. Kevin Sorbo. Uh, Richard Norton, you know, and and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger uh, that I'm doing it. And a lot of people are going, oh, my God, this is like an Expendables. Well, it wasn't. I didn't I was going to say that. You, you took my line away from me. I was going to say that, but go ahead. <laughs> but, it, you know, it, it didn't start out that way. It's not that kind of movie. It's really like a dark dystopian uh, uh, Western. And uh, it's it's just that, you know, when I thought I wanted to do a movie I wanted to use like oh, like like the action stars that people love and see you know and and it just turned out into that you know and it's continuing to to do that and a lot of surprises and of course you know I have a kickstarter program going on to raise funds and the more funds I raise the more I can get people attached and of course that's the fighters but I also do have a couple uh actors character actors I want to get uh a uh, actor that's a friend of mine that is an A-listed actor. He won an Academy Award. Uh, so it all depends, you know, on how much I could raise. The more I could raise, the more all this money is going to go into making it uh, a better film. But yeah, I'm really excited. I feel so blessed because I was very nervous about this on Kickstarter because uh, a couple of my friends said, oh, you know, people have tried Kickstarter and people that have more followers than you and didn't make their goal. And uh, so I was very nervous. I had anxiety. But, you know, I'm a very spiritual person. And uh, my mom passed away a couple of years ago. And I really heard my mom say, you need to do this now. And, you know, I really believe that when we get, uh, you know, feelings, really strong feelings, it's like, yeah, now is the time to do it. And I just feel everything is going into place. I have some sponsors that are incredible. I have a good friend of ours, you know, George Chung, uh, him and uh, Jungle Plus and Black Belt app are uh, doing two red carpet premieres for me when the movie is finished in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. And that's golden. You know what I mean? I mean, nobody really has premieres set up before no, the film. It's good. It's, that is golden. And uh, also I've had like five distributors contact me already saying that they want to distribute the film. And I'm like, well, wait, 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 let, let me get the movie first, you know? So, <laughs> uh, so I have like really, really uh, good feelings. You know, Sentry is, is one of our, our sponsors, you know, and I'm just so, I'm so happy that uh, so many people believe in this project and are supporting it, you know, and uh, as of now we have 11 more days. So, uh, uh, hopefully uh, <laughs> we're going to reach our goal and uh, the plan is to start shooting like fall. 
Oh, that's one of them. And no, that and that was my whole idea of doing this interview. I want to help you promote this movie in all stages. First, I want to urge people to go online and we'll have that on, you know, uh your website where they can go online for what's it, blackcreekmovie.com. Correct. And that's, uh, that's website and it'll take you straight to the uh, Kickstarter right. link and uh, people can see. I think we have, uh, you know, a lot of people are asking me, why Why are you successful? Will you help me with my Kickstarter campaign? Do you want to be in my movie? <laughs> and I'm like, let me, <laughs> let me get through this well, first. But uh, yeah, it'll take you right there. And I think we really have some great, great, great incentives for all, all the backers. Right. Well, I'm going to be one of the people done that into when my wife and I, Kathy, talked about it. We just want to be part of something that I think is historic because I have my finger on the pulse. I've been in the business for a long time. We go back to even your competition days. This is going to be a total success. You have your fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx anything, but in my mind, you have the makings of a phenomenal success. You have the the best cast I've ever seen for a martial arts film, you don't even need them. By yourself, you're strong enough. Then you take the guy that I feel like is my mentor, my favorite of all, all martial arts films people, it's Richard Norton. You know, my first fight scene was against Richard Norton in a movie called Force Five. You know, so I looked up to him for inspiration. He gave me my first advice on how to break into films. And, you know, so I'm and plus, you two have a dynamic that very few people have on film. We've done about 10, 12 movies with Richard Norton already. Yeah. And uh, I think this is exciting because uh, so many people haven't seen us together, you know, in a movie right. in a long time. So a lot of people are looking forward to that. But yeah, there was even, uh, I think we were called the Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire of Martial right, Arts. Of course. I always look forward to those films. And again, uh, Richard's a dear friend of of both of ours, of course, and I look up to Richard. Richard's one of my mentors, like like Chuck Norris, you know. And I've been in the film industry for a good while, so I'm so excited about it because I really like Oliver Gruner. I think he's a fantastic French martial artist. He's just pure martial arts, so he's going to add to it. And then you've got um, Kevin Sorbo. I don't know him personally, but I have followed his career in, in Hercules. I like him as a person. I love what he stands for. So you're bringing a whole new audience, you know, with you when you bring him on. And then you've got Don Wilson, who we all love. Don Wilson is the go-to icon. I mean, he's like royalty in the martial arts as a fighter and also as a martial arts, you know, film star. So I think each of these people bring their own set, their own group of people. So you've really got a hit on, on, on your hands here. And then you bring in, Billy Blanks. And Billy Blanks, I've seen him in a couple of the movies, even with you, with Kick of the Kickboxer, also with Lauren Avedon, and he's a phenomenal martial artist. So you've got the best of all worlds. You've got the elite martial art film stars. You've got the best of the martial artists, and then you are the queen of all martial arts. I, I'm not being facetious when I say this or building you up. You are the, the number one female martial arts film star. Since the beginning of cinema, since martial arts started on film, you know, you are that person. And I have other friends that have been to Hong Kong, uh, Sophia Crawford and um, other people you've done films with. And, you know, they did stunts and whatever, but you came out of it as a, as the top star. So I, I've always been one of your biggest fans and I've known you forever. And uh, my goal is not only to help you raise funds for this movie in the next foot so many days, but in the ongoing process, I want to interview all the cast members. And all we want to talk about is driving people to the theaters. And then at the end, when it does get released, I want to then uh, maybe bring you back out. But we want to drive people to the movie theaters. I saw you on a, a Scott Atkins um, interview. It was fantastic. I think I look up to Scott Atkins as well. I think he's like the perfect martial artist. And he has five million viewers in just one of his podcasts. My goal is going to be to see you 5 million people, go pay money, stream this, go to the theaters, whatever you got to do, but make this th make this film successful. Because what you're going to do is you're going to be in an inspiration for a whole new generation of filmmakers and, and actresses like yourself and actors as well to say, well, Cindy just did it. Maybe I can do it as well. So you are paving, paving the way. I never had the gall to do what you did to say, let's make a movie and do all. I mean, it, it takes a lot of work as well. So 
I, I, I'm so happy for you, but we're going to be 100% behind you. We're going to be pushing martial arts to support one of our own martial artists. And we're going to follow you through your career up into the production. And then after the production, we're going to be encouraging people to go see this film. So when I say my fingers on the pulses, yeah, we're going to just be bombarding people. Go see this film. So I wish you all the success in the world. Well, thank you. But also, I would like to get you in it as well. Oh, well, I'm, I would like to do help you with distribution. I'd like to help you behind the scenes. Uh, you know, if you had a pizzeria, maybe in one of the bar scenes, I would love to be there. <laughs> I, no, you know, film takes place in the 1900s. So it's. Uh, a, oh, a, does it? Yeah, it's a uh, it's, uh, uh, period. What, film. what time? What time frame? Uh, early 1900. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, that's. It doesn't really say, but that's what, you know, the costuming is going to be and, okay. uh, you know, the look, the feel, uh, everything, you know, that uh, we need for props and everything. It's going to be authentic, like 1900. Well, let me uh, let me ask you this question. I know who's directing it. I know about the writing. I know where you're going to shoot it. Really, the most important a aspect of a film, I think, is your stunt coordinator. The stunt coordinator. Who's that going to be? Yeah, it's a, a Swiss team uh, from uh, Switzerland, uh, uh, Gail Noel, and uh, I've worked with them on a film before, and uh, oh, I really like the action that they did. They weren't just, you know, typical action. They had those little nuances that I really like that really makes the fight scene look good, and their ideas were great, and I just felt, yeah, you know, if I do a movie... Uh, I'm going to use these guys. And uh, when I'm doing my movie, I said, guess what? I'm going to do my movie. So uh, there's three <laughs> three teams coming in, uh, three guys that they're all in the one team. And uh, I will also be working with them. And uh, one of the great incentives that we have on Kickstarter is that you could be in a fight scene with either me, uh, Richard, Billy, Olivier, you know, one of us. And um, we've gotten a tremendous response. Uh, we have two spots left. And what I'm going to do is probably set up a couple of days, you know, for them uh, to come in and train so we can make sure, you know, that the people are comfortable with their fight scenes that, you know, we could see what they could do to make them look good. And I'm really excited about that because um, I've had so much um, uh response from these people saying this has been my lifetime dream to be in a movie wow. with you or, you know, one of the other cast members. And uh, I'm just happy that. I could fulfill someone's lifetime dream to do this because this is like no. my life dream is doing yeah. this. Look how already you're inspiring people and motivating people, which is, you know, which is fascinating to me. Here, here's the thing about your, uh, your group coming from, you said from Switzerland, yes. they've got to be dynamic because they're dealing with yeah. the top echelon of martial arts film stars. Each of these guys could choreograph their own films if they were doing their own films. They have that much experience. So I could just imagine, I would feel a little nervous going up to Richard Norton and Don Wilson and all these major stars and going, here's what I want you to do. And, you know, and it's tough. They're going to they're gonna have to know and have a vision and know what they can do. Because even when I had my fight scene with Richard, I wanted more. I wanted more and more, but I knew my place. I, I didn't go up to Pat Johnson and, and say, no, I want a longer fight scene or whatever. But you've got major stars. And so you're going to have to, I don't know, they're going to have to know how to manage mega stars and alpha males and, and just strong personalities like that. Because, you know, they're going to have a bunch of people going, I want to be the good guy. I want to be the bad guy. I want to do this. You know, so you have to have a really strong direction and then get them all together and be positive and have them on the same page. But your stunt coordinator is so important, as you know, and you've got you're comfortable with your team. And what most people don't know, and I've heard you speak about this before, and I helped teach a film camp with Keith Strandberg and Michael DiPasquale for years in Storm King in, in New York. We train people to break into films because the most important aspect of a fight sequence is the reactions to the fights. And when yeah. most people come in thinking, oh, I'm going to throw these kicks. No, no. What we need you to do is to react in a way that makes these stars look good. You've had that experience before working with people that didn't react, uh, hadn't you? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Every time I was always like, make sure that people I'm fighting and knows what they're doing. And uh, sometimes like they would get us, uh, for example, there was a scene in the martial art kid that we did, you know, and I was like, to make sure everybody can fight. Well, they all could fight, but they could, didn't know how to react. And it was right. tough. Like, you know, it was so tough because 
um, the actor that's fighting with someone that doesn't have great reaction, no matter how good your technique is, it's not going to look good. And there's even a scene in there, you know, where I tell the kid, I say, go home to your mother, because I, I, I could get him. To, he was little and I, I, I would break him in half if I kicked him, you know, so I said, right, right. We have to do that. And uh, then it, then it worked, you know, and uh, but yes, yeah, so that's why I'm uh, I'm going to have this like this uh, training, these extra training days for the people. But uh, interesting enough, one of the people that have uh, got the high ticket fight scenes uh, uh, are martial artists. Most of them are martial artists and, and black belts. So I was like, wow, that that's really awesome, because, of course, I'm going to look at what they can do and tailor that part for them. And as far as the script goes, good guys, bad guys, all all the uh, cast know what part they're going to be. I sent them the script. Okay. Uh, everybody knows who's uh, who is going to be the good guys and who's the bad guys. And, and the thing about um, stunt fighters, you know, I really truly believe the best way to break into a film is as a stunt fighter. And the way you do that is by making and reacting in a way that you make the stars look great, the person you're fighting with. Because a person that's reacting can take away all of your power. All they've got to do is on your dynamic ending scene spinning kick is just to react by moving an inch. And what they did was they, they projected strength in themselves and took your strength away. So to tell the story, they got to project with their face and their body. They got to sell it. And sometimes martial artists don't know that because in martial arts, we're taught not to telegraph techniques. And it's the opposite. For films, for films, you've got to show the audience your punch before you throw them. And I, we've casted films before where the guy would bring in somebody to do the demonstration with them for us, and they're throwing kicks and punches, and they're spinning this guy around. Well, the director ended up hiring the guy they spun around because his his reactions were the best, you know, because you don't want to hide your punches. You want to sell your, your, your techniques in a whole bit. So part of uh, getting martial artists is you've got to break them from how they were trained their whole career and say, this is the movie business. Now you got to learn a whole new business. It's a skill within itself about how to sell the film. But really, if you get people that are dynamic and know how to do the reactions, then you've made all these stars look even greater than they're going to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, you could bet on uh, on this film, I'll be fighting some of those people that you see in my cast. <laughs> so I know, okay, yeah, we're going to have oh, a really yeah. fight scene. Well, well, good. Well, I, I just wanted to first start off on, on focus on this because we're going to drive people to Kickstarter. And then we're going to do interviews, hopefully, with a lot of you cast members for the film. And we're going to promote this film. And I personally want to wish you the best. Uh, I think it's a home run. I, I think you've got George Chung on the other side, like you said, helping you with premieres, and that's going to be with the dom domestic release. You've already got the major stars that are bankable. You are the biggest star. You are the queen of martial arts, in my opinion. So it's a home run. And I, I'm going to be there to support you all the way, and I just wish you the very best. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate appreciate you. And uh, like I said, I would love to see you in this film, too. <laughs> <laughs>